What it is, good people out there in YouTubian land, it's your boy, Mr. James C, L to the O to the V to the E, T, T. The Bad Wolf. What's going on, guys? All right, so as always, you know the drill. Hit that bell, like, subscribe. I would appreciate it in advance. That being said, let's get the show started. So this particular video is going to be about how to sue a police department. And when, which of course is also included police. Now, before we get going, obviously we don't want to make any more enemies than we already have out there. So if you do see anybody using any of my information for any ill purposes or calling us the sovereigns or whatever else, especially the citizens version of it, make sure you hit that report button over there and take them down. Book them down. All right. That also being said, it should be known that I do have friends and family who are cops. So this channel is not about hating anybody at all. Okay, this is business. And if people can't distinguish that, then that's on them. This is for the people out there who overstep their authority or don't know what's going on because their superior officers don't share this information because their superiors don't want it to be known. Because once it's known, it's going to be a ripple effect and it's going to spread across. And then there's going to have to be a change to policies and privacy and those other things because there's a difference between the United States Corporation and the United States of America. Two separate things in bed together. Awkward. Okay, so where are we? Now we are on a website called do not pay.com. Okay, do not pay.com. That'll bring you here. To go across the top and I'm gonna make some videos individually about some of their other options because there are a number of them and I did a video on this some time ago so hopefully you've caught that now when coming here so what is this about sue anyone in small claims court how to sue a police department and when now when you're ready you can either become a member or you can sign up you can come right here and click this button okay and it is going to robo set up everything for you. This is awesome, guys. All right, now, once again, before we get going further, do not abuse this information, okay? Now, it is there for you to use, but don't make it frivolous. If it's frivolous, what you're going to do is congest the system that's already congested enough and bloated. Don't do it frivolously. You have to be able to show that they've done some kind of damage. Deprived you of your rights, uh, physically assaulted you, whatever else, then you have the right and the Constitution and the law behind you, okay? That being said, I take no responsibilities for any of my videos and I use any of the information. I'm just showing you guys that you have these rights and freedoms versus privileges and benefits, okay? Let's get going. All right. So, if you want your issue solved now, solve my issue. That's it. That's all I got to do. Nice video. Have a good night, guys. Yeah, you know I was going to talk a little bit more than that. All right. So, if you have had a negative experience with the police, you're probably wondering whether or not you can make a or take out a legal claim of action against them. Even though taking a police department to small claims courts can be daunting... It is possible to win, even with laws like which are their internal stuff because they're, yeah, anyway. Uh, qualified immunity is what most of them have, shielding them from some accountability. Suing and winning against the police department is not impossible. Remember, you can always go after them in tort claims. You can get their insurance and make claims against them. Accurate claims, not fraudulent, and do not, for the love of Pete, put a UCC lien against them unless you can prove that there has been actual damage, okay? Otherwise, it is fraud. Do you hear me? Okay, listen to the little mic guy here. It is fraud, and they will come after They will bank you, okay? If that's what you want, go ahead and get it. I can hook you up with a number of people who've done fraudulent stuff trying to just pick at them, and it didn't work out so well for them. You'll see some of them in a couple of years, and some of them you won't see until they pay off their stuff, okay? So don't do it, all right? Steer clear of them if you can, be in the private, but if they won't let you be, and you're doing this the correct way, you've closed all your con, your contracts out, contracts, uh, then, and you can prove damage, 
that's when you want to go after them. Okay. So, but essentially, like it says here, you can go after all of them, insurance, mortgage company, airlines, your dentist, whatever it is. Okay. If you can prove that they've done damage. So let's take a closer look. Uh, so if you think about suing the police, we'll show you where to begin. Moreover, we'll go into detail on how the entire process can be remarkably easy with do not pay. When should you sue the police? Okay. So when you have grounds for harassment, this includes any form of intimidation, tormenting behavior, racial profiling, verbal abuse, unlawful surveillance, spying, false arrest, inappropriate sexist things, homophobic or racial comments, um, even uh, destroying your property. Okay, I had one guy out there get his um, passport taken by them and cut up on the spot. That's a federal offense, F-O, okay? So not only can you sue for that, but you can also report that to the Department of State. All right, so what else? Discrimination. This has to be with any unfavorable treatment you've received because of your race, gender, religion, sexual orientation, national origin, national origin, pregnancy, and maternity. If you believe you have been dis, uh, discriminated against for any of these reasons, you can file a discrimination claim against the officer. Okay? But you're going to need to build your case, have all of your information ready. From the moment that you are pulled over or bothered or walking down the street minding your own business or, like me, on the bus stop, accused of stealing furniture. Because, yeah, you steal furniture on the bus and take home a sofa or a love seat or whatever else. Furniture. Yeah, I hope you guys rot in hell. Anyway, so, but that was also a long time ago. So, you know, what is the old expression? Just says, live on and something, be nice, throw the first, throw the second rock, but make it bigger. Something like that. Anyway. All right. So, <laughs> the violation of your Fourth Amendment rights, okay, protect citizens from unlawful searches and seizures. Do they have a warrant signed by an actual judicial judge? Otherwise, they're not supposed to be touching you or doing any of that if you've not committed a crime. They take you down and ask to see the magistrate. If you've done everything correct, you shouldn't even be in their jurisdiction. But even if you are in their jurisdiction, you still have rights. Okay? Unlawful search and seizures by government or government officials. If your property is searched without a warrant, you have a right to sue for the uh, violation of your Fourth Amendment. Like them going in your car. When you have your private plates on and your vehicle's in a trust and they won't ignore all that because they don't know any better, not knowing that they're risking their houses being sued, uh, taken from them, them being sued personally and their insurance and bringing their spouses into it and losing bank accounts. This is why I give them forewarning before they come my way. And if they don't want to play, then guess what? You guys can talk to the law because you're statute enforcers. And this is the actual law, okay? The Constitution. You kind of backed away from that when you became an officer and signed your FRA. You know what that is. All right. So, the use of excessive force. You can sue a police officer or the department he or she is under if you have been a victim of unnecessary force. In other words, you have to prove that the force was unwarranted and injuries you sustained were directly caused by such force. Bruising on your wrists if they slam your head into the car on the way in. Okay? Even things from like not allowing you to uh, make a phone call or uh, talk to the commanding officer or see a magistrate or um, they don't provide you with the medical that you need or your medicine. Okay? These are things they can't do. All right. So, how to build a case against your local police department? Talk to a civil rights lawyer. If you're uncertain about the legitimacy of your claim or steps to take, they can walk you through it. However, lawyers may be unwilling to represent you because of the nature and case and or lack of evidence. Okay, so if there's no evidence, obviously. But if the lawyer doesn't want to take on your case, sue him too. They're denying you your rights. All right, so you don't want to take my case? Don't worry, I'm going to add you into that because you are afraid to go up against them because they're all buddy-buddy in the little corporate system. 
So you're part of it too then. RICO, R-I-C-O, look it up, RICO Act. You are part of it. All right. File an internal complaint with the police department. Now, as we knew, a lot of them will trash them. So make sure that if you get a complaint, fill it out, send it to the chief of police. Then send it to the attorney general for your state. Tell them that you weren't being taken seriously or that you didn't think it was going to actually be filed. Now, also for the good officers out there, huzzah. But keep in mind that you guys can also deal with internal affairs if you guys want to report the bad officers. That whole protecting the blue line, really? No offense, but then you're not much better than the ones that you are protecting. Okay? You know, so they you guys want people on the street to snitch, but you guys don't want to snitch on the bad ones. So that's what internal affairs is for. If you didn't know, now you know. Okay? All right. So you can file an internal complaint with their department. Uh, this might present a chance for the accused to be disciplined in accordance. Ha! They rarely sell them, okay, to be honest. So send them to where I, I told you to send them. If you have to go up the line, then go up the line. But those are the two people that you need to send it to. Document all evidence. If you do not have a favorable response from the police department, you will need to prepare to sue. Compile all the information, witnesses, and other damages in the report. Dem uh, deliver a demand letter to the accused after you compile the evidence. Draft up a demand letter and send it to the police department. Okay? Before you go to small claims court, you must deliver a demand letter with a summary of your claim and give the receipt a chance to settle the issue outside of court. Yeah, because they do that for us, right? Yeah, snatch and grab. File the lawsuit. If you don't receive a favorable response, you can go ahead and file a lawsuit to small claims court. You must submit all required papers before scheduling the court date. Prepare for the trial since you won't be able to hire a attorney. Oh, see, it's almost like they know. Most of them are going to try to back down when you're going after a department or certain officers or even judges. Buddy, buddy, it's Rico, meaning you're in it too. You're all working together to conspire against me which is why you might need to take your complaint to the FBI. Okay. All right. So here they're talking about uh, benefits of taking the action, economic dam damages, general damages, punitive. Okay. Do not pay offers an easy way to sue the police. Log in to do not pay and select a sue now product. Okay. Answer the dollar amount that you are owed. Make sure you can validate this. Okay. Even if it's, you know, a $5,000 uh, uh, arrest fee or a uh, uh, bruising fee from handcuffs, which is why you should always have sent out your notifications to the chief of police and the head sheriff about who you are, what you're doing. You're operating privately. So they have a fee schedule. Create a UCC one. Put your fee schedule and whatever else in that. Now you've got a documented claim and number already standing. Prevention. Don't message me the day of court or try to help you with your court stuff. I do not do that. Won't do it. Okay? Most of you wouldn't be able to afford me. I give you guys the cheap prices for the info, but if I were to ever even do something like that, yeah, I'm going to be as expensive, if not more than that, for a lawyer. Which is why I give you guys all the tools. So I don't do court cases. Keep that in mind. All right, but a lot of people are messaging me on the day of, week before. Well, what do I do? Well, you might as well go now because you didn't do anything to, pre to prevent it. So, yeah. Okay. Fill in all of the details. And that will be it. So, once again, you click to solve my issue. They're going to ask you for an email or a cell phone number and take you through the process. Now, as you can see here, CNN, Forbes, Business Insider, Time, and NBC have vouched for these people. And over 2 million cases have been successfully resolved. Okay? So that's about it, guys. That is how you basically get down. Everybody was like, oh, do you have any templates for that? Yes, you can go online and get your own templates, or you can go here and have them do it for you. Now, I don't get paid from these people, and I'm not sponsored or anything like that. So, check it out for yourself. 
see if it works for you. But once again, do not do anything fraudulent. Okay, do not waste your time. Do not make fake claims. Don't have outrageous numbers, especially if you haven't already done a, a UCC or have your statements already out there. And then these, you know, chief of police and head sheriff and attorney general, secretary of state and governor's office, if you haven't sent your stuff out, your, your affidavits with this information saying, hey, this is what happens. I'm in your area and they bother me. This is what I'm going to do. It's a good courtesy. AKA it means if you have problems later on, now they don't have a leg to stand on. You can knock the legs out. <laughs> That's it. All right. So stay wise, stay woke, stay aware, stay in the minutia of self-governing. It's business. Okay? Don't make it personal. There's no emotions. Constitution doesn't protect your emotions. But it is an eye for an eye. So if they bang you, you bang them back. But you're going to go a little harder because they're trapped in a box. And if you know how to remove yourself, then you can operate freely in the private. So that's it. Bad Wolf's out. I will talk to you guys later. More videos to come. The fun is just getting started.